Today, I'm reviewing Skyfall. No, not the 007 movie, but rather the Soaring Eagle Drop Tower located at the Freefall Thrill Park in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And let me start off by saying that this is one of the best drop towers in the world. Soaring Eagle was founded by Stan Chekets, who previously founded SNS Worldwide. Soaring Eagle started by making zip lines, but Chekets expanded their offerings over the years to include the saddle swing and daring drop. And I'm going to talk about the latter today. The daring drop delivers a true free fall, and what makes this ride type so special is the minimalistic restraint system. Most drop towers have an over the shoulder restraint, however the daring drop has just a seatbelt. The only other drop tower I can think of that has just a seatbelt is the Tower of Terror attractions at the Disney parks. Except you are much more exposed on daring drops. Compare that to Tower of Terror where you're in that elevator. And on the daring drop rides you typically do not have anything to hold on to. However, Skyfall does have these straps protruding from the seat, and the staff at Freefall Thrill Park actually require guests to hold onto the straps at all times. Compared to the other daring drops, Skyfall is particularly noteworthy for its location. Skyfall is just one block from the beach, so the views atop the tower are breathtaking. You can either admire the gorgeous shoreline, or you can get lost in all the tourist attractions around the beach. That view makes the drop even more terrifying because it's so easy to get lost in that view. I couldn't find the posted height anywhere online, in fact the park website doesn't even mention this attraction. But it looks to be a bit smaller than the Myrtle Beach Skywheel, which is listed at 187 feet tall. So I would estimate that Skyfall stands roughly 140 to 160 feet tall, but if you know for sure I'd love to hear down below. And that drop is fantastic. There's very little warning, there's just a tiny click a split second before it starts, and you drop like a rock. My stomach dropped for the entirety of the drop. In terms of the drop intensity, it rivals that of a Larson drop tower. And it was a bit stronger than an Intamin drop tower, and far more intense than an SNS drop tower. As for airtime, I felt a little airtime, but there isn't much given the seatbelt for obvious reasons. That is one advantage the drop towers with the over the shoulder restraints actually have in that you have space to experience the airtime. So it is a trade off for the super exposed ride experience. Ultimately Skyfall is one of the best drop towers because of that aforementioned view and intense drop. For that reason I would give Skyfall a 9.5 out of 10. If you're a fan of drop towers definitely make sure to check out Skyfall if you find yourself in Myrtle Beach. What are your thoughts on Skyfall, or any of the Soaring Eagle drop towers in general? I would love to hear your comments down below. Subscribe for more ride reviews here at Canopy Coaster, and thank you for listening.